Okay, so let's make an example music program in Java using the JMusic library. So we're gonna go new project like this, and we're gonna say um, my music example, spell it right here, two, all right? And then in here, that's the name of my project. I'm going to put in a new package, ECS 1021, which is the name of our course. And then here, I'm going to put a new Java class, my music class, which is the plan for my program. Inside, I'm going to put a main method like that. So main, M-A-I-N, enter. And that creates the boilerplate for the main method. And then I'm going to do just a sample print statement like this. So I do S out, enter, an example, whoops. print statement like that. Okay, I'm going to run this just to make sure I've got a running program. So I click the triangle and we'll see an output right here. It's worked. So I have a working program. That's great. So next up, I want to play um, Happy Birthday in uh, J Music. All right. And then I'm going to say um, S out music is done as a statement at the end. And then just before that, I'm going to put music is about to play like that. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to do this. I'm going to put in some notes. Um, but Java doesn't support that. So you know, if I were to do something like um, play dot midi, no, it doesn't it doesn't understand this. Um, so Java or IntelliJ here shows me that it doesn't understand the word play. In order to make play work, I have to go to File, Project Structure, Libraries, Plus, from Maven. So we're going to use the Maven import tool. In here, I go J Music like that, Enter. No, that didn't work. I hit the search right there. Let's search. Come on. Let's try that again. J, oh, there we go. J Music. One more time. We're going to search for it. That's found. Okay, good. So 1.6.4.1, like that. That's the version that I want to download. Hit enter, then OK. All right. Now I've imported that library, but I still haven't imported it properly into the class or into this particular file right here. So I'm going to do import jm dot uh, music dot data. I want everything from that portion of the library that was just uh, imported. I'm going to import jm dot util dot play. And look at that. Play is no longer read. So it understands it. Then jam dot um, constants. I need some constants in here in order to make this program um, sort of understandable. Okay, so I need, oops, not jammed. I need an import like that, like that. All right. So inside of MIDI, uh, the method, which comes from the class called play, I'm going to do a new note object. So new note. And here I want to do, let's see, pitches like that, dot. And I'm going to do happy birthday. I'm going to try a really, it'll be a sad version of happy birthday, but it's going to be G3, G3, A3, G3, C4, and B3. These are the notes I'm going to um, play. So G3. And uh, my next argument or parameter that I'm going to pass to note is going to be rhythm values dot, and I'm going to do an eighth note like that. Okay. So because the library uh, has these definitions in it and IntelliJ knows how to, how to go find it, I just have to start the name of the particular constant I want. And then I hit tab and, and it will um, fill it in for me. So that's a G3 right here. G3 for one eighth of a note. Good. Play dot MIDI. New note 
pitches, and this one's going to be another G3. I looked up these notes ahead of time. We're going to do an eighth note like that. I'm going to put a little comment here, G3, 4, 1, eighth. All right. Play dot MIDI. Like that. New note. So I'm passing into the MIDI method a note object that I'm creating inside of the parentheses. So dot, uh, let's see, A3. And I'm just going to default to, whoops, not that, sorry. So I'm hitting tab when I do that to get the shortcut and eighth like that. This is A3 for a duration of one eighth of a note. Play dot MIDI. See, we're just doing a bunch of notes here. New note pitches dot, let's see, back to G3. Rhythm values, eighth note. Yep, it knows what I want. G3 again. We have two more notes. I'm just repeating this, okay. Uh, new, whoops, here we go. New note pitches dot. Let's see, C4. Let's do C4. Rhythm values, eighth note. C4 like that. Pitches dot B3. So just doing a bunch of eight, eighth notes. And this is going to be a B3. All right. So I've got this done, and now, hopefully, I'm going to cross my fingers, I'm going to play this, and it should give me some sounds. There we go. Now, if I wanted to play all of that again, I could copy that and paste it. Let's play that one more time. So clearly that note wasn't right, but I can change the lengths of these, right? So I can go, um, let's see, quarter note like that. And I could do half note so we can make these really long. Let's see what happens when I do that. So that isn't right. So let's see, what if I wanted to do it on the fifth octave? Like that, we'll do C3, uh, C5. Let's try that. Nope, that was off too. But you get the idea. And so you can create musical uh, compositions this way relatively uh, easily. And so I suggest that you try new notes out and new uh, note lengths and see what you can get out of it. All right. Good luck, everyone. 